Nepal is a home to a variety of bird species. More than 880 species of birds have been recorded in the country, which is about 9% of the total bird species found worldwide. Among these, over 200 are migratory birds that enter Nepal every year from many different countries in search of food and environment conducive for breeding. However, studies have shown that loss in habitat and enough food have hindered the birds to migrate, eventually putting them on the verge of extinction. Given these existing threats, these birds are facing yet another life-threatening challenge. Warming temperature. Over the past years, Places like Manohara Riverside in Bhaktapur district has seen a gradual decrease in migratory birds. But this year was an exception, which locals believe was possible due to COVID-19 lockdown. Mm. Sanjay Thashrashtra, a bird photographer and a local of Manohara River site, is delighted to have an increase in bird count this year. However, he believes that changing climate has dwindled the number of migratory birds in the area. In the climate, there is no way to migrate. 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 Ornithologist Dr. Hem Sagar Baral further elucidates on how warming temperature is taking a heavy toll on bird population, which is gradually pushing them towards extinction. Actually, the biggest change is many birds feed on insects. What happens is when the climate is changing, the temperature is fluctuating or rising, their prediction fails. So when their prediction fails, the tick is hatched, but there is no abundant supply of insects to feed them. What happens is instead of raising four ticks, maybe they just raise two ticks. If the global rise in temperature occurs, then how these birds are going to breed successfully. If they don't breed successfully, their population will go down and eventually they can become extinct. The plight of birds surviving in the higher altitudes has worsened over the decades with the melting of the ice blocks. I wish they breed in the glaciated valleys. They lay the eggs in islands. The snow is melting. Higher snow melt means the island can be gone and the whole structure is changing now. There is another bird called uh, Tibetan snowcock. It lives quite high along the moraines of glaciers. They are so much dependent on these glacial deposits. Rising temperatures are uh, making the special <laughs> lake outburst flow bluff more frequent these days. While some lowland birds have elevated to higher altitudes, experts also see it as an impact of rising temperature. A little cormorant, yellow beetle, greater kukal, ashiprinia, all these species are strictly lowland birds, climbing a little bit higher than what we used to know for the last 100 or 200 years. We predict that it is because of the rising temperature. Shrestha strongly feels that community awareness and engagement is important when it comes to conserving birds and improving the habitats. Dr. Dr. Baral emphasizes that community-led activities and government policies should go hand-in-hand hand for biodiversity conservation. We should protect biodiversity, protect nature. It is because this is what we like. It is because this is what we are. This is who we are. Indeed, a small act and a sense of responsibility towards conservation could be the key to save the face of humanity from going extinct.